What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to learn how to build a simple python auto clicker bot that can be used in games like cookie clicker to automate the clicking or also for some more useful tasks so let us get right into it so the basic idea is quite simple we have a game or an application that requires us to click on it many many times and we profit from doing this faster rather than slower and instead of doing this manually so that our fingers hurt after a while we can automate this with a python script and this is the goal of today's video and as an example here, I'm going to use the cookie clicker game. So basically just clicking on the cookie gives you new cookies and then you can buy grandmas and farms and all that to speed up the process. But clicking on this cookie is kind of tedious. So this is what we want to automate to make money faster. And for that, we're going to import a couple of libraries. We're going to start by importing time, importing threading, and then we need to install an external Python module using the command line. And this Python module is called pi input or pi input. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. So pip install pi input like that. So P Y N P U T without an I. And once we have that, we can say from pi input dot mouse import the controller and the button and from pi input dot keyboard want to import the listener and the key code. And now the first thing we want to do is we want to define a toggle key. So a key that activates and deactivates the clicking because you don't want to just start the script and then it clicks all the time because that might lead to you closing applications, deleting files, moving files, sending messages you don't want to send, crashing your computer. You don't want to do that. So you want to have a key for activation and deactivation. And in my case, I'm going to define this here as a constant toggle key is going to be the key code where the character is equal to T. So T is going to be my toggle key. And next, we're going to also define a Boolean clicking to indicate whether the clicking is activated or not. So it's going to start with false and T is going to activate it. So it's going to turn it to true. And then we define a mouse being equal to a controller. And now we want to have uh, two functions. One is going to be the clicker function itself and one is going to be the toggling function. We're going to start with the clicker function, the def clicker function. And the basic idea is we're going to say while true, if clicking, so if we are clicking right now, we're going to perform a click by saying mouse dot click. And then we're going to click the button dot left. Otherwise, you can also specify clicking the right button. And we're going to set this to one here, we're going to pass one here. And then we're going to say time sleep. And I would recommend something like zero, 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 one seconds or something. It's very important that you do sleep. If you don't sleep, you're going to have the problem that Python, since it is, uh, it has this global interpreter lock, you cannot toggle while you don't have downtime. So if you're constantly, uh, constantly clicking without a pause, it will not register you clicking the toggle key. This is a real problem because then you will not be able to stop the script or it's going to be very hard. So you want to have this little sleep here. You don't want to do this without a sleep because otherwise the other threats cannot work or the main threat in this case cannot work. Otherwise, if it's not clicking, you still want to sleep. And the reason for that is that you uh, actually we can do this, I think, like that. Yeah, um, because the reason for that is that you want to also sleep if you're not clicking because otherwise you're constantly going to check this and you're also not going to be able to toggle, which means that in this case, you're not going to be not able to deactivate. You're not going to be able to activate uh, the clicker. So I think that should work as well here. And then we're going to define the function toggle event. And for that, we pass a key. And the basic idea is if the key is equal to the toggle key that we have defined, then we're going to say global clicking and clicking is going to be not clicking. So basically inverting the current value toggling it. So if it's one, it's zero. If it's zero, it's one, or in this case, false and true. Um, and that toggles the whole clicking. Now, one last thing that we need to do is we need to say click threat is equal to threading dot threat with a target function clicker, because this needs to be executed in a separate thread. We, we need the main thread uh, listening for the toggle key. And we need another thread that runs in parallel. I mean, not really in parallel, but that runs 
uh, at the same time kind of um, doing the actual clicking. So we're going to say here, click thread dot start. This is going to be that function running in a separate thread. And then in the end, we need to wait for the key. So with listener on press equals toggle event as listener listener dot join. So that's a basic idea. Let's recap. We have this toggle key. We set this Boolean to false by default. We define a mouse. We have this clicker function that basically just performs a click if this variable is set to true, which it isn't in the beginning. We sleep so that we have enough time to activate or deactivate. And uh, actually, maybe let's just make this zero zero one. Um, then we have this toggle event function if the key pressed and we get this key pressed from here, this is passed here. If this key is the toggle key that we defined, we change the state of clicking and we in general run this in a separate thread, this clicker, and here we listen in the main thread for key presses. That's the basic idea. Now I hope I didn't make any mistakes that crash my computer. I'm going to start this here. Now it's running, you can see I'm not clicking yet. Now I can go to cookie clicker here. And then I press T. And you can see it presses, I'm not doing anything right now. It presses automatically it presses quite fast. And I can now press T again, and it stops doing that. And this can be used for a lot of different games, I guess I'm not sure if you can use that uh, in a productive environment. I'm sure there's some application we need to click a lot to do something. I don't know what that could be. Um, but essentially, I would recommend using this in games that are single player games, because you don't want to cheat in multiplayer games and cookie clicker is a game where you don't have anyone to impress or you don't have anyone to compete against. So doing this is fine. Um, but in general, I would not use it in multiplayer games if it gives you an advantage. So this is how you build a simple clicker bot in Python. If you now want to uh, close this, you just click on stop here. And that is it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.